Good morning everyone and welcome back. We've just gone and done sort of most of our morning jobs. Got all the cows that have calved today. There's only the six of them. One of them is a heifer, so a bit of a slow day. But look at this, one, two, six. She's one of our best cows and sort of one of our favorites. She has had a heifer calf. So that is, that is great news. Her mum actually calved about four or five days ago, I think it was. She had a, she had a bull calf, unfortunately, so I've kept that. It's in one of the sheds down below. But it's actually not a bad day at the moment. Like, at least there's a little bit of sun, or the sun does come out at times, which is pretty warm. But it's just been so wet. I think we've only had sort of like 30 mils, but everything's just so soggy and, and easy to make a mess. The carving cows, they're straight over there. We've got the milking cows down there, they're making a mess too. So it's a little bit challenging. We're also supposed to get a little bit of rain this afternoon as well, just to just to make things soggier. But we're also about a quarter of the way through carving. I think with these cows now it makes us, or it brings the number of milking cows up to about 80. And, and how's it been going so far? Yeah. It feels like we've only just started and we're a quarter of the way through. Well, it's like the 21st. Uh, is it 21st or 22nd? You only have 10 or 20 cows, not 80. 21st. Gotta feed them, that's the trouble. Yeah, so generally we mate, or we start mating on about the 10th of October. No, we do start mating on the 10th of October. And Dad's always said that uh, when we usually start on the 20th of July, usually. But I don't know, a lot of these bulls nowadays have quite short gestation, so I always say it's about the 16th. But everything seems to be going alright. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Fingers crossed. We actually went through all the milking cows this morning and sorted everything out because tomorrow we're going to start putting milk in the vat and supplying. What's well, tomorrow the 22nd, so we'll get picked up on the 23rd. That will be, well, when we officially start this season, I guess, once we get our first tanker load away. It will be nice to start putting it in the vat, but our income starts coming in again too. Most of these cows actually had heifer calves today. One of them had a bull calf, and then this girl here, she, 164, she had twins. She had a heifer and a bull. So unfortunately we can't keep the heifer calf because it is a free marten, and 90% of the time they are infertile. They won't get in calf, so. I'm uh, not a big fan of twins, it is nice if you get two heifers, they're fertile, it's just if you get a bull and a heifer, there's something about it, so, yeah, a bit of a shame, but she's done well, you carry twins, like they were small, obviously, but, but she did well. Here's the girls here, four of them, this one was from the heifer, and this one here is from one of the cows, but she was born about five o'clock yesterday afternoon, me and the kids went into a bit of a calving check, and we've seen her, I did spray paint her with a bit of blue on it, so I know. So these two have probably drunk off mum. And those two, they'll definitely need colostrum, but we'll try and get some into them. Well, there go the cows there. I'm gonna open the gate into the milking herd for them. Dad's pushing the new ones down now, but I've gotta wait till they get here before I can open this gate, otherwise all these heifers just gap it up the race there. And we don't want them coming in and out of the paddock. Well, there's a couple more cows calved today. I thought I would go and shift the dry mob before I fed these calves, move them, get them sorted, feed out for them. And I said to Dad, oh, can you come give me a hand? Because there was one in there yesterday that looked like she was pretty close. Although, on uh, Minder, it says that she's not for another 19 days. So obviously it was from the first insem, which is sweet. So I was going to draft her out and she actually carved, which is one of those calves in there. And then, and then there was another calf. And it was from a cow that got PD'd empty. And I, I think I missed out on sending her to the works. I don't know why. And then she's sort of just been here, like I took her collar off and everything. And um, we sort of seen that she was bagging up and I was like, ah, oh, well, we'll just uh, hold on to her for a little bit longer because she, she might be in calf and she's calf, so yeah, unreal. But bit of an update, these calf sheds are full now. I've got 12 calves in each. 
So there's 24 over here. So I've had to move into this shed and it is filling up pretty steadily too. Five replacements in there from yesterday and then there is another seven over here from maybe the day or two days before that. So there is another pen, that's another pen of 12. I do pens of 12 because that is the calf, I've got a 12 teeth calf feeder. And then these were the four from today. So just looking at them, uh, those two are the ones that I've spray painted. So they were from last night. And then either one, two, six, which I call Cora, that's her name, I've given her a name. Uh, she either had this calf or that calf, but I would, at a guess, just say it's that one there. I thought that one was a little bit bigger, but there's actually not too much in between those. So maybe, maybe it is that one. It's one of them. The other cow that calf was just a little bit smaller, so I was gonna assume that she had the smaller calf, but it doesn't always work like that. Righty ho, who wants to go first? Come on you, you were from last night. Let's get some, let's get some milk into you. Come on, you gotta stand up though. taste no she's not really sucking she started to drink but i'd say she's probably had some off mum too not overly hungry like you get them they just latch on and, and go for it just gun it but yeah if they don't i don't really worry about it they've had a drink off mum so that's good enough for me you have a drink on mum maybe not She's latched on real good. There we go, this one's drinking great. There we go, nice full tummy. Keep them in there, nice and dry. The weather's starting to turn a little bit. It's the odd little bit of drizzle comes in. I need a name for that calf too. So her mum and her sisters well, Cora's mum and sisters uh, all begin with C. There's Cleopatra, which is the mum, and Cora, and then I need a C name for that calf. So drop one in the comments and I'll pick one that I like. Maybe I'll draw them out of a hat or something. So what I've done is that that family of cows, I've given them names starting with C. So that, or the mum, like I said, she's called Cora. My grandmother is called Cleopatra. And then another sister's called Cleo. And what's the other sister called too? Here's another one. I forget them now, so drop a C name below and or what we can call that calf. And I'll either pick the, the one that I like the most or, or maybe I'll put them in a hat and draw them, but that'd be awesome. Come on, you'll like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Probably gonna keep that fella there. He's just a nice big calf. I'll rear him myself. But I am probably gonna have extra replacements this year. I'm up to about 40 now, including those ones I've just put in the shed or close to it anyway. There's about another 90 cows that will calve. So I need another 20, 25, and there'll be another 25 replacements extra. So if anybody out there is looking for some, send me a message on Instagram. I'm not going to give them away for free, but I'm not asking exorbitant prices either, so I am pretty realistic. Uh, yeah, hit me up anyway and we can talk. They will be sort of over 400 BW, I guess. Uh, yeah, or around there anyway, so yeah, let me know if you're interested. Or even if you're after some bull carbs, I don't know if anybody that does want some, let me know. Uh, even, even if it's next season or going forward, yeah, I'd be interested to hear from you. Taking now for her morning run. There's the cows that calved in, in that late mob. Bought them up here, put them in the tractor shed paddock. I'll get them this afternoon. If there's anything else that calves, we'll bring it back and milk them. So we'll grab those two on the way. There's also the cow that had that uh, sort of pinch nerve. And she's coming right. Like if she walks real fast or in the real long grass, the, the legs or the hoof sort of gets bent over. But other than that, she's walking pretty good. So just, uh, just waiting game there and see what happens. And there was also another cow that came out with these two because one of them was a bit spastic and kept running through the fence so we, so we just brought her back as, as well to keep her company uh, when we are getting them out but she can just go on with the, the carving mop, won't matter Girls, 
you are making a mess. What's down the bottom here? Well, it doesn't look like there's any new calves in the heifers here. There is about 18 heifers in here which are in calf to AI, or which could potentially be. And then there's some that are bagging up or getting really close to calving now that aren't. So I've got to keep quite a quite a watchful eye on them because we don't want to keep uh, un, un ai calves. Ah, oh, you girls are making a mess. Look at that. Well, I didn't really want to shift them this afternoon. I've given them a massive break for today. I was planning to move them through to this paddock tomorrow. This will be the next calving paddock for these girls. Ah, oh, I think it was only supposed to sort of rain this afternoon. Maybe, maybe we've had it all. I might be a little bit game too, living on the edge. I've gone out and I, I don't know where my, uh, my rain jacket was. I think it's in the other gator. So hopefully it doesn't rain or I'm gonna get pretty wet. Do I move them? Do I move them? You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Ah. Giving them a big break. I always do an afternoon pickup at three o'clock and then if anything's carved, we'll take it back, take the calf, get it out of the weather, give it some colostrum and we'll go and milk that cow that evening. Dad only used to do it once, you know, in the morning, but I've found that just by doing it twice a day, you just get way better colostrum for your calves and we've reduced my mastitis by quite a bit too. Doesn't look like there's any calves in here. Nah, well that's easy, no calves this afternoon. This really annoys me though, look at all this straw. I've fed it out to them and they're just, they're just walking all over it, wasting it. I tried to feed it out quite thin, not in big hunks, so that they might utilise it a little bit better. I like feeding straw, I think it also, uh, it's also great for sort of their metabolism, it slows them down a little bit and we haven't got quite as much milk fever by feeding it. But they do waste a lot, maybe I should be feeding hay, I don't know. Or, or this is rice straw, maybe it should be feeding like barley straw or something. Here's one of Cora's sisters right here, this is Calypso number 185. She hasn't sprung up much, she won't be calving <laughs> overnight that's for sure. I think she's due in about 8 days maybe, I'll have a little look. She is due in 5 days time to frenzy. Hopefully she has a heifer calf too, that would be nice be really lovely. If she did, both those cars would be over 500 BW, which would be nice. It'd be my only ones, but hey, it's all good. Look at that. See all those big rocks down there? Somebody's come along and like backed up or pulled up the edge here and then they've chucked all these massive rocks down, the, down onto the race there. Some absolute oxygen feed. Scumbag, mongrel, whatever you want to call them. So now we've got to go and pick them up. And it's a bit hard getting the tractor through there because it's quite narrow. That, oh, it's just, it's the epitome of laziness, eh? Hey? Just pay a bit, take it to the dump, somebody's probably done a camping. So annoying. Dad's shifting the milking herd at the moment and he's also bought these couple of calf cows in. He's going to milk them. I am going to start feeding calves. If there was quite a few cows or say we had bought sort of three or four in this afternoon, new ones, and I needed costume for the new calves, I'd stay there and help them. But because uh, I'm going to, well, I haven't really got time, I'm going to start feeding calves and he can, he can milk too. That's, that's fine. Oh, my jacket's over there. That's right. I hung it on the... I hung it on the gate to dry out. Huh, problem solved. I've got these uh, Angus calves here too. I've had a few of them come through. So if anybody is after some of these, this one's a, a heifer calf, but there are heifer and bulls. So if anybody's after them, again, let me know. The milking herd's actually looking quite big now. I was having a look in my book and I'm up to about 85-ish. Get on here. Yeah, like that, like that. We'll take you.
calves are all fed and happy. Back at these heifers, I need to set up a break for tomorrow. What I'm thinking I might do, I don't really want to give them another break, because I've had quite a bit today, but they're right here next to the gate, so Dad said just give them this bit in here, which probably work all right, like it's all fenced off so they can just chew the grass around here and they'll be, they'll be sweet here for the night, it's probably better than concrete. Looks like that girl down there, she's carving, to get her number, and there was one up there that almost looked like she was carving too. Come on! Oh, run slowly. Definitely challenging in the in the wet. We are in winter. And it's like this for everyone. That might have been her there, the one I thought might have been carving. I'd say she is on the job. She is in Carved AI too, so might come and check them later on tonight. Right, what are you girl? What are you doing, girl? Uh, maybe not. Oh, here, you're carving. You're definitely carving. But, she's a natural mating. Nice cow, though. However, that will pretty much do it for this video. I'm off for some dinner. Having roast lamb tonight. How good is that? Uh, but I might go and check on those heifers later on, see if anything's carved, I'll film it if it has. These GoPros are terrible at night and everything seems to be real shaky when it gets a bit dark. So yeah, if it looks a little bit higgledy piggledy, that's why. But they'll be happy there. I am stoked that Cora had a, had a heifer calf. Hopefully one of her sisters has one too, or if they both did, that would be, that would be the dream. It's about nine o'clock, I've come to check on these girls. It has been pouring down, so I'm glad I stood them off on this bit of race here wish i had have put the late carvers on the feed pad i can't see any new calves as of yet so that's good i suppose they look pretty settled for the night which is good Alrighty, see ya